Hello, my name is Ananda Leon and I'm the software engineer for Level Aviation. Today I'm going to teach you how to use our Level Aviation app on iPad. Once you download the app, you can go ahead and open it. It's going to take you to a quick tour. The first thing we need to do is to enable location services. Without this, the app will not function. So make sure you click on allow while using app. Next, you can follow the app tour or click skip tour to continue. The next thing is the app will ask you to connect to your local network. Make sure you click OK. Without clicking OK, the app will not be able to connect to your level devices. Once you're in the registration page, fill out all the information. If, and if you like to receive notifications of new updates, click on the notify me of new versions and updates. At this point, we are ready to connect to your level device. Go ahead and turn on your Astrolink, your eye level or, or your bomb. And we're gonna go to settings, then Wi-Fi, and then search for the level network. For example, I am going to connect to my eye level 1025. The last four digits, it's the serial of your device. Once you are connected, we're gonna go and open the level aviation app. And the first thing you'll see is two columns. The first column on the left is the EFIS and the right column has all your status. This app was designed to have two columns and up to three views in each column for a total of six views simultaneous. You can customize these views to fit whatever instrumentation you want to show simultaneously. For example, if you see on the top left corner, there's a menu button. If we tap this, you're going to see all the options that you have. If I click on the speed, that column is going to show my speed indicator. If you want to add a new view, click on the menu button and on the bottom left, click on new view. This will divide the screen into two and then allow you to select a new view. So for example, we're going to add our EFIS display there. We can do the same on column B. If we click on the menu button and click new view, then we're able to select another view. For example, our settings option. If you want to add a third view, you can click on the menu, new view and select another view. The same thing on the left. If you select menu, new view, then we can activate our traffic view. As you can see, we have a total of six views. To remove a view, you can click on the menu for the view that you want to delete and click remove this view. To expand column A into full screen, you can slide from left to right. And to bring back column B, you slide from right to left. The same thing we can do on column B to expand. If you want to make a view full screen, you can double tap on the screen and it will immediately cover the entire screen and double tap will bring it back to its normal size. Let me quickly show you what some of these views look like. We have a speed indicator. We have an altimeter. We have a vertical speed indicator. We have an angle of attack indicator when you have a bomb. We have a traffic radar. If you forget shortcuts on how to make a view full screen and expand, go to our help view. On settings, you can adjust your V speeds, what kind of gauges you want to see, and what kind of information and units you like to use. On the status page, you'll see everything from the eye level in real time in numerical value. You can also see battery percent of your devices and what the status is for different features. Autopilot, it's our view dedicated for our eye level AP. In our flight log view, you can retrieve flights directly from the eye level AW or BOM. Our engine page 
has to be configured for you to see some of the engine information when connected to a Grand Rapids engine analyzer. And under device configuration, you'll be able to do some basic configurations required for some of our devices. For example, for the bomb, you'll need to calibrate the AOA, and this is where you will access this information. The most unique thing about the Level Aviation app is that we designed it to work simultaneously with your navigation app of preference. For example, if you're using ForeFlight, you can pin our app on top of ForeFlight and use it simultaneously. By sliding from left to right on the top, you can always hide our Level Aviation app or bring it back by sliding from right to left. You can still modify the layout of our app by adding new views according to what you need. The Level Aviation app can also be used side by side. If you drag and drop to the side and then adjust the size, it's what it's called multi-view functionality on iOS. If you prefer to use two different iPads, one running your navigation app and one running our Level Aviation app, you can do so. The Level devices can connect up to six devices simultaneously, including an iPhone. One common question that I get all the time is how do I update the altimeter setting on the app? And if you see below the altitude tape on the right hand side of the EFIS, there's a box there. You can input your altimeter setting there. Or if you have the altimeter view, there's also a box there where you can change the altimeter setting there. Besides changing the altimeter, you can also configure your engine when it's connected to Grand Rapids, but we have another video, so make sure you check that out. And we will be doing a um, separate video for how to operate the iLevel autopilot in flight, so make sure you check that out as well if you have an iLevel AP. We're always making improvements to the app, so if, if you have a suggestion or recommendation, please send it to us at aviation support at level.com and if you're already enjoying the app make sure you send us a five-star reviews on the app store thank you for watching we'll see you next time